Let's add a player component on the diagram to replay what we have recorded in the previous chapter. Don't forget to load the BLF package beforehand, or the player will complain in the console that it does not find the proper RRM. Add viewers to inspect the data we have. Connect the player outputs to corresponding inputs of the viewers. When it's done, run the diagram to display data with the viewers. Show the VCR window if you don't have it already through the window menu. From this VCR widget, you can perform many different actions. You can run and shut down like this. You can pause and unpause the replay. You can access any time from the record in random access way. You can even play backwards or change the replay speed. The player has properties where you can see the first and last timestamps. You can also change the range of the replay. Every output pin of the player contains the properties of each RRM. Autopause and threaded are common properties. To replay frame by frame, we can check the autopause property. First, click on the next sample button in the VCR. Then you can start your diagram normally. It stops at the first sample. Press next sample to walk through the recording. It was a good overview about how to control the time and data replay controls in RT maps. Thanks for watching.